In this definite integral, we have the factor, radical factor of x squared minus 1, which is in the form of uh, some function square minus a number square. And we know whenever we have u square minus a square form, then we have to make this substitution u equals a secant theta to get rid of this radical sign. Okay, in, in this, in our case, u is simply x and a is simply 1. So we make that substitution here. So we say let u equals a secant theta. So x equals 1 secant theta. Okay, and now we are trying to convert this question in terms of theta. So we need to find derivatives of both sides with respect to theta. So dx over d theta. So I'm write in differential form. Derivative of secant is secant tangent. Okay. Now these limits are for x, but we are converting everything in terms of theta. So we need to convert these limits for theta as well. So when x equals root two, when x equals root two, we will find the theta. And when x equals upper limit two, we will find the theta using this assumption. So x equals secant theta. So when x equals root two, we get root two equals secant theta. And that implies theta equals what? Okay. So let's work a little bit over here. And we know uh, secant, so okay, I'm, I'm going to solve this secant theta equals root two. So let me use this white color. So secant theta equals root two. By the way, secant is reciprocal of cosine. So uh, cosine, find the reciprocal, 1 over root 2. Okay, reciprocal of secant is cosine. Reciprocal of root 2 is 1 over root 2. And 1 over root 2 is same as if we multiply top and bottom by root 2 over root 2. That's uh, root 2 over 2. And we know cosine pi over 4 is root 2 over 2. So theta is pi over 4. Okay, so theta is pi over 4. And when x equals 2, let's go for here. So 2 equals secant theta. That implies theta equals, let's do the same work. Okay, so second, secant theta is 2. Uh, reciprocal, cosine theta is 1 half. And we know cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half. So theta is pi over 3. Okay. Then this integral becomes uh, root 2 to 2 is pi over 4 to pi over 3 and inside 1 on the top x cubed. So x cubed is secant theta cubed. So secant cube theta and inside radical sign let me work over here we have root of x squared minus 1 and we just made the uh, assumption x is secant theta so secant theta is square minus 1 which is secant square theta minus 1 and secant square theta minus 1 is tangent square theta and root tangent square is just 10 tangent so secant cube times tangent theta okay we don't have square root anymore tangent theta okay this part is tangent theta times dx and we found dx here dx is secant tangent d theta so secant tangent d theta let's simplify and integrate so i can see a couple of cancellation secant out of three to one cancel to left tangent tangent okay then we have let me erase this part pi over 4 to pi over 3 on the top just 1 over secant square okay 1 over secant square and d theta and 1 over secant square secant square 1 over secant means reciprocal of secant is cosine so this is basically pi over 4 to pi over 3 1 over secant is cosine square theta d theta 
okay there's a little bit problem square so we need to get rid of this exponent cosine is square for that we use half angle formula we know cosine square is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 okay so we are going to use that formula over here and integrate so pi over 4 to pi over 3 cosine square is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2 d theta so we have two terms or we can pull two all the way outside okay so that's two on the bottom is one half outside now i'm going to integrate integration of one is x but variable is theta plus antiderivative of cosine is sine sine two theta this two we need to divide by two okay and going from pi over four to pi over three now half is outside we're going to evaluate this at the upper limit minus evaluate at the lower limit okay so theta is pi over 3 so this is pi over 3 plus sine 2 times pi over 3 sine 2 pi over 3 and the value of sine 2 pi over 3 so you want to use the inner circle sine 2 pi over 3 that is root 3 over 2 so root 3 over 2 divided by 2 so root 3 over 2 to 4 on the bottom minus let's go for lower limit theta is pi over 4 plus sine 2 times pi over 4 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2 sine pi over 2 sine pi over 2 is 1 so 1 half now simplify this and we get the answer so 1 half pi over 3 minus pi over 4 they are like terms let me put them together pi over 3 minus pi over 4 plus we have root 3 over 4 minus 1 half minus 1 1 half is same as 2 fourths i'm making common denominator that's 1 half from these two 3 times 4 or we can put in this way uh 12 is the common denominator right uh, 3 goes 12 so we need to multiply 4 over 4 so 4 pi minus multiply 3 over 3 3 pi 4 pi minus 3 pi just pi plus this is basically root 3 minus 2 on the top over 4 okay this is the final answer or you multiply from outside so pi over 2 times 12 24 plus root 3 minus 2 over uh, 8 okay uh, you don't have to go for decimal answer this is it